the gods who descended from the sky in the second millennium BC onto our earth. Many believe that the so-called gods, quote unquote, never existed and that they were figments of the imagination, but the same people are unable to interpret with arguments some recorded events at the same time that they accept other traditions, usually of a religious nature with equally imaginary events. What happened in Asia? 2400 BC in China, the Xing Hai Jing book 17 tells of a stormy race of people, the Miao, M-A-A-O, M-I-A-O, who lost the ability to fly and having fallen out with the Lord of the above were exiled here onto earth. Then 2346 BC, the classic Chinese text Xiu Nan Zhu, chapter 8, describes the appearance of ten suns in the sky. Emperor, Emperor Yao, Y-A-O, ordered the Chu Yu's divine archer to strike down the nine false suns, leaving only the true one to illuminate the frivolities of humanity. Then in 2300 BC, a Japanese text, the Shito Ki, tells of a divine man who descended to Korea and ruled over the people for a thousand years. Doesn't that sound like the longevity that the ancient Sumerian kings had? So this divine man who came from the sky ruled and uh, descended to Korea and ruled there over the people for a thousand years. 2000 BC on the island of Kyushu in Japan, a Chipsan tomb shows an ancient king raising his hands to collect seven sun disks. 2000 BC, the ancient Greek Dionysius of Alicarnassos, in his work Roman Antiquities, books 2 to 11, says that, says that King Minos of Crete took his laws from the hands of Zeus on the mountain of Ida. Are these clues or data? According to the above, as documented in the book of George H. Gallet and Jacques Berzier, the book of ancient astronauts, we can be concerned about at the same time come to possible conclusions. The first incident recalls some conflict with humans or space beings, while the second and fourth refer to many suns, which were false. It cannot have been in any stars since a divine archer, apparently with some sophisticated weapon that could easily refer to today's rockets, shot them down. We wonder if these fake suns were some kind of alien spaceships, some kind of extraterrestrial reflector satellites, similar to the ones NASA uses, and are said to do the same thing nowadays, or if they were of terrestrial origin made by a technologically advanced Earth civilization of that time. At the beginning of the millennium, 2000 BC, that's over 4,000 years ago, Zeus appears to appear giving his laws to King Minos of Crete, was Zeus an earth man or a space being? If Zeus was a direct connection, has a direct connection with the previous appearances, then we must assume that he is not an earthly man, but someone who could live at least a thousand years, as the Japanese text, the Shitoki, states. For another case, if so, then the divine man who reigned in Korea for a thousand years belongs to that category of gods, quote unquote, such as the Anunnaki or the Olympian gods, but also many others who have been reported to have lived for hundreds or even thousands of years. He was not a man, neither he nor the other kings. A final hypothesis that for many could be considered as an indication or even proof, combined with various other references and ancient traditions, is that if Zeus appeared right on the millennium, and if the divine archer, quote-unquote, was Apollo, then probably all the appearances within the above time frame mark a gradual appearance and preparation of the Olympian gods, as they're known in ancient Greece, that would culminate in a specific period. An event that, as may be hypothetically established, occurs over many millennia. And this I've translated from a Greek article, Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account.
The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.